Good morning. It's Monday, September 4th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Time to Wake Up. And our scripture today is from Revelation chapter 3, where the Apostle John writes what Jesus said. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Sardis. This is the message from the one who has the sevenfold spirit of God and the seven stars. I know all the things you do, and that you have a reputation for being alive, but you are dead. In Great Britain, each year since 1974, an average of 85 churches closes their doors for the last time. They go out of business. As a result, there is an abundance of church furnishings being sold to commercial enterprises. Christening fonts are sold as birdbaths. Pews and screens are used as restaurant decorations. And stained glass windows are now household ornaments. We shake our heads at 85 British churches closing, and then we stare in amazement when we're told that more than double that number are closing each year in America. We should not be surprised. Nearly 90% of America's churches are either plateaued or declining in membership. You cannot decline without somehow decaying and eventually deceasing. Some would suggest that the Christian church is dying for the lack of Christian living. Our text tells us that Christianity in the church and the individual Christian can die. The programs and services can be staffed and performed, but without life. The blower in the furnace is on, but the fire has long since been extinguished. Someone has said that if the Holy Spirit left most churches today, she wouldn't be missed. Let's look at a church that had that very problem, Sardis. A reputation for being alive suggests vitality and authority. Sardis was built on the top of a 90 degree cliff that was totally inaccessible from three sides. There was only one gateway into the city, so the residents felt safe. They were prosperous and lived in an impregnable fortress. However, the city was conquered and destroyed twice in its history. In BC 549, the Medes under Cyrus came right through the front gate while the guards slept. Now the same thing happened in BC 218. Antiochus the Great caught the guards napping and waltzed right in the front door. This ancient city had a reputation for being impregnable to military conquest, but it went to sleep and the fall was great. In the same way, Jesus speaks to the Fellowship of Christians at Sardis, a group without financial hardship or persecution, a church of very successful people, and he says, Your reputation is that of being strong and impregnable, and you are badly mistaken. Then Jesus cautions them to wake up. Revelation chapter 3 once again. Wake up, strengthen what little remains, for even what is left is almost dead. I find that your actions do not meet the requirements of my God. Go back to what you heard and believed at first. Hold to it firmly. Repent and turn to me again. If you don't wake up, I will come to you suddenly as unexpected as a thief. If you've ever pulled guard duty in the army or one of the other branches of the services, you know that it requires considerable effort to keep the eyelids in function mode for four long hours. There's just something about somebody saying, stay awake, that just makes you want to go immediately to sleep. The sense of these verses is that ministry which was ongoing and vital at Sardis had waned. It was fading fast and it soon was going to die altogether. Jesus warns them to shake out of the lethargy and turn around. For you today, the message of Jesus to Sardis rings as strongly today as it ever has in history. If you had a heart that was once on fire for God, it's time to rekindle it. Blow on those embers before it's too late. If you're an evangelistic soul winner, get busy in the neighborhood knocking on doors. Don't let the ministry die. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.